So here we go. We have this next question where we're talking about a rectangle and it says, hey, how wide is it? How wide is it? So if I'm gonna picture this, okay, cool. I have this rectangle here that I don't need any help drawing at all because I can draw very well freehand as you can see. And so we have that there and we see that it's 46 inches long. So we'll go ahead and say 46 inches long. And we want to know how wide it is. I could have, you know, I could have written width there. We could just say wide, width, W, whatever you want to say. I don't want to be grammatically correct right now, but there we are. So we're here, and the only other piece of information that we have is where it says, hey, this rectangular desk covers this many square inches on its surface. My party people, although it doesn't say it outright, the 2070 represents what mathematical idea here? Absolutely, it represents area. It represents area because of the following key words. Covers this many square inches on its surface. Really, the only key word that you really need is square inches. Remember that regular distance units? That's distance, like inches, feet, miles, yards, kilometers. That's just distance. Square inches, square feet, square meters, square centimeters. If there is a square before the unit, you are talking area. If you're talking volume, three-dimensional, you'll say cubic units. So here, without having to say it, this is gonna be telling us about area. And this again is unit eight. Unit eight, area and perimeter word problems right there so with that seven math quarter people boom the area here equals 2070 and so what do we know about the area of a rectangle can everybody kindly give me the formula for the area of a rectangle what is that formula going to be yeah length times width that will be the area Ooh, did that who is that? iPhone, don't know what your name is, but congratulations on passing and getting that 49. You know what that means. I'm going to go ahead and allow you guys to unmute yourself for a moment. Go ahead and give iPhone a yurt. Give it. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, Joseph. Congratulations, Joseph. Congratulations, boss. Hey, buddy. All right, I got to unmute you guys because I want to make sure I, there we go. Got to make sure that we, you know, keep time in the class. But Joseph, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead. You know, we typically automate everything at this point. So if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and Google my business, Duran Learning, and go ahead and share as much detail as you want about your experience and how you went from the score that you previously had, if you took it before, to how you got to where you are. You know, really being descriptive about the process that you went through, you have no idea how much hope that gives other people who were in your same position. So if you wouldn't mind, that's the best way that you can help other people who were in your same position, who didn't believe that they had the means to get that score. So Joseph, congratulations again, boss. That's, that's a job well done. Congratulations. All right, let's go ahead. Let's finish this one up here. So what we need to do is we need to use that area formula and use area equals length times width. And so what we'll say is, hey, the 2070 is equal to the length times the width, but the length we already have it as 46 right over here. So we're just plugging in what we have. And so to find the width by itself, we'll divide both sides by 46. Once we do that, cancels out over here. And so from here, 2070 divided by 46 we have to figure out what that is. So once we do that, right over here, 46 goes into 2070. So 46 goes into 207. How many times, everybody? How many times does 46 go into 270? Right, it's gonna be four times. It can't be five. Five would end up being 230, not gonna work. So that would end up being four. 46 times four, well, 40 times four is 160, six times four is 24, so that would end up being 184. 
again, you have got to be comfortable doing quick math in your head. So here, 207 minus 184, what will that give us? Well, that'll give us 23. Then once we're here, we drop that zero, and what did we just say 46 times five was? 230. So booyah, we're good. Subtract 230, that's a perfect 230. And there it is. We have a width of 45 inches. And there we are, boom. So what this means is, well, this should actually look like this. That's what that should actually look like. But regardless, there we have it. We have C, 45 inches by using our area formula. And as always, my math party people, you deserve to be put in the best position to succeed. And I want to thank you for always putting your best foot forward. With that said, get our free one week trial to our program, no credit card required, and you get everything. Classes, practice problems, practice tests, all the way until you pass. See you there. Let's see the ASVAB.